Hey, we're on the air, my friends. What is going on? Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Rally here live, late night, bringing up the church in the house, my friends. How are you guys doing? Wow, oh wow, what a day. Well, you know what I always tell you, friends. When you have one of those days, oh, you give it over to God, friends. Well, I am back. I was going to do this way earlier in the daytime, but as usual, lots of stuff going on, always going on. Uh, working on the yard, working on the uh, some upgrades in the studio again. Still dealing with those flies, my friends. It has not gone away. Uh, they're getting less. Uh, we bombed it a little bit, put some stuff up, and well, we're uh, you know we're praying and binding it. So that's what took so long. And you know, of course, uh, working out in the, somewhat of the heat. It wasn't too bad today. In the cool 60s or 70s, I guess. And uh, well, you know always something and uh so yeah i took care of some things and uh did a little upgrade did a little bit of yard work and uh hey that's cool so i got the fresh brewed coffee the big book of love pens papers notebook tablets highlighters for your highlighters and i do hope you have your notebook tablets with you because oh i have got so much to give you always a jam-packed podcast going into the armor of God taking a look at Deuteronomy chapter 6 and uh, a few other things and then uh, we're going to go into uh, the last four chapters of the 12 books of the minor prophets Zechariah chapter 10 through 14 we'll conclude that out and uh see what's going on and then we'll we'll jump right into malachi probably on the next podcast i may just close that out and then wait on malachi for later tomorrow because by the time i get done with this podcast i will be way into the midnight hour uh friday morning so uh (laughs) sometime later in the afternoon about 4 4 30 i'll be back on and right back here uh, switching it up tonight, uh, we have cast box in the house again with our speaker and anchor. Let me get the monitor up on that. Make sure we're our, our volume levels good. Did a little, few little adjustments on the uh, you know the bass and all that stuff. Uh, so you know how it goes, friends. Always adjusting and always wanting to make sure that. Uh, you know, we we want the best sound for you, my friend. So when you're running, you're driving, you know, on your iPad, well, we want that quality sound. So we are uh, continuing uh, and striving for the upgrades, you know, want, wanting to get that best sound. So uh, glad you guys are here. Grab your Bibles, pull up a chair, get your cup of coffee, and uh, let's have a little Bible study tonight, friends. Amen. Well... Like I said, we've got lots to cover. Uh, And of course, I am going into the Lord's Prayer. I am going to be adding that. Uh, Every podcast from here on out, I'm adding the Lord's Prayer. Because I have not been doing that. Uh, And, (laughs) you know, sometimes I just have so much uh, scriptures. And I'm going out of different Bibles, different versions. And, uh, you know... So, a little, you know, a little bit different here. So, I want to make sure that I include, uh, you know, Whether you're the feeding prayer. a view or the whole crew, Dickie's Barbecue Pit keeps everyone satisfied. There's our volume. All right, so, we got good volume. That sounds good. All right, well, pull up your easy chairs, and let's go ahead and get into the podcast for Thursday. It is Thursday. 
Wow, the time is going by fast. We are already in the 19th of the month, friends. Just a little after 11 o'clock p.m. on the Pacific Mountain Time Zone. Uh, and, you know, like I said, always uploaded and available 24-7 on all major podcast channels, networks, pages. Any connections, if you can get Wi-Fi and you can get... Uh, you know, the internet, well, you can look us up. Worldwide Live Industry Podcast. Pastor Work out here live late night. There's the night, friends. Oh, I am excited to bring this good news message. Uh, just kind of laying there, kind of meditating, uh, going, you know, resting a little bit here and there. And, uh, oh, man, I was listening to some soaking. Uh, spiritual music, uh, boy, oh boy, in the blood. And uh, I, it just got me thinking. I'm like, uh, 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 I'm not going to be sleeping again. I'm not going to not do a podcast tonight. That's what the devil wants. The devil don't want this uh, armor going out of the, uh, you know, I don't know what you call it. It's not exactly armor, but, oh, he don't want this message getting out. I know that. he's He's been attacking full force. Uh, sending all kinds of distractions and thoughts and processes and uh, all that negativity, you know, and that's, uh, I reject that, and I'm not listening to that mess, because, oh, he's a hot mess, friends, don't you think, don't you think the devil's a hot mess, well, so that's why I, uh, oh, I, I had my rest, I got my, my uh, spiritual I don't know what you call it, but, uh, oh, I, I was, as they said in the summer, 10, rested and ready. So, <laughs> I was like, put, get behind me, devil. Oh, I'm going to put you on the shelf, and I'm going to forget about you, because you got no authority, and uh, nobody cares what you have to say. So, there you go, friends. Uh, you got to plow through it, no matter what. You got to, you know, your situation. Uh, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, you know, as I always do, we open up with prayer. But uh, you got to just keep plowing through your situations, your tribulations, your trials. You know, the, the wicked, the fiery darts of the wicked. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, as I continue these messages and continue these podcasts, I, I you know, God is so amazing. Don't you think, friends? Can I get an amen on that? Uh, you know, I was like, wow. You know, I get to wake up and I get to podcast. I get to do these messages. And uh, what an honor it is to serve our Heavenly Father, right? So, you know, whatever situations you're going through, friends, well, don't, you know, you'll get through it. I promise you, you're going to get through it. You will get through it, friends. And we are going to take a look at... As a matter of fact, I'm going to go into the NLT Living Water for those who thirst, because I know, oh, I know, friends, I know, we've got a lot of thirsty friends, uh, you know, that are hungry for the Word of God. Well, that's what I do here, friends. It's an online community church worldwide, and I am humbled, honored, privileged, and uh, I'm just at, at, at peace I uh, doing this, and I didn't really realize that, friends. Uh, you know, at, at first it was a little tedious because there's a lot I I have to do, produce, write. You know, not really write, but obviously I don't write the Bible. It's there. I got the word, friends. That's what I I strive to do. Is like, man, how what a privilege. How how cool is this? <laughs> so, I, uh, but. I, I just, like, I, I'm just so privileged, and uh, I just, I get to, you know, but I was lost in my thought process. See how that gets, my friends? Uh, you just get so caught up in everything, and you get lost. But anyway, what I was saying, I'll bring it back in here, friends. What I was saying, what I was saying was that uh, I have, uh, you know, at first, well, through it all, I would, I have to do, like, setting it up, typing all the information in, uh, you know, getting all the channels covered, and then lining everything up. But I'm like, wow, look what I get to do. 
this is so awesome to just talk about God, just be in his presence, in the Holy Spirit presence. And I know, like I always tell you, I know this is way different than what you probably used to do or hearing, but this is the way the Spirit laid this on me. He gave this to me because uh, I, I was sitting there, and I know we all have our come to Jesus moments, friends. Don't am I right? Right? We have our come to Jesus moments, and the Spirit always reminds me. Well, you did make a promise. <sighs> okay, you got me, but that's all right. Oh, it's a privilege, friends, and I uh, appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, you know, and uh, so I have uh, reset my schedule. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this happen, cause you know God. I know God wants this message out. I've gotten emails saying, "Hey, uh, nobody cares what you're doing. Uh, they don't want the message out." Well, no, the devil don't want the message out. God always wants the message out, as He called us into our calling, our ministry. And, uh, you know, he provides. He, he provides a way where there is no way. And uh, so I, you know, I just wanted to take a few minutes out uh, just to thank you all. I, I see the numbers climbing all, on all the channels. That just is amazing, but not surprising. And uh, so I am, you know, I, sitting there. Really, just kind of, kind of resting, uh, and I was like, "Man, I got to get out there and preach! I got to get out there and preach this gospel, this good news gospel message." How dare I sit down, or rest, or you know, or fall asleep, or whatever? And I'm, I'm like, "Mercy! I better go preach some, some but to somebody, and I better go preach this good news gospel." Because that's the calling and the gift that God gave me. And uh, <laughs> I was like, wow. Uh, again, I, I thank you guys for hanging in there with me. And uh, I, I have uh, updated the schedule. I'm, I'm getting this message out. Uh, again, only problem will be or would be the Wi-Fi connections and the weather. Because uh, you all know I built a studio literally in a barn next to some goats. But it's cool. Hey, you know, I got everything working and set up and God keeps just keeps providing. Uh, so as we got to uh, continue with the upgrades and uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, friends. All right. Hang on just a second on Block Talk Radio. I got to just... Uh, my mic again. Amen. What an honor. What a privilege, friends, to spend time with you here tonight. Well, every day. I'm, I'm trying to get on here every day. Uh, I just never know and, you know, stuff like that. So, all right, let's take a deep breath. Precious friends. Big book of love. Cup of coffee. Late night podcast. Uh, at live right now on the air, Spreaker.com, Blog Talk Radio, and joining us tonight is CastBox Live. So uh, that is awesome. And I'll upload these uh, this podcast. I figured another way to get the podcast uh, loaded up and, and uploaded to uh, some of the streaming channels, uh, Steam.com. Uh, what do we got? Uh, well, Instagram and uh, Twitch. And then there's a couple more I found. So, uh, God is good, my friends. Always, always, always. All right. Well, let's take a deep breath. Uh, again, thank you guys always from the bottom of my heart, precious friends. You are awesome. So let's get into the podcast. And... Uh, Let's uh, let's read the scriptures, my friends, together. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, I thank you always for everything you provide and everything you've shown and given me and just uh, just everything. Uh, you know, I, I do this 
for because you called me into it and uh, to give back to what you have provided and uh, got me through God I just thank you uh, it's all for your glory for your honor and uh, I just I don't there's no words you know what's in my heart God and I know you know and so I do this in your honor, praise, and glory to glorify you, uh, to get people to the scriptures, to read the words of your disciples and, uh, you know, the prophets. And, uh, you know, and, oh my gosh, God, I just, I don't even know where to start sometimes because I just, I'm in awe at how great you really are and how awesome you are. Uh you know, so I want to I want to lift up right now. I want to lift up my family, my friends, uh, everybody connected, everybody listening, and of course everybody going through trials, tribulations, and situations. Uh, you know, God, lift them up. Put your angels around them and uh, in in protection, prayers of protection, Psalm ninety one. Uh, right now, and uh, you know, just watch over them. And uh, guide them, Heavenly Father. Just guide them and watch over them. Uh, again, Heavenly Father, I come before you humbled and honored, and uh, just it's just such an honor and a privilege uh, to preach your word, preach your message, and be in your word. Uh, just another opportunity uh, to read the word and, and just be in it. Oh, God, I thank you so much for everything that you have provided. And uh, I know this is your calling, your path. And, uh, you know, that, that road is straight and narrow, and it's, uh, it's, it's difficult at times. But I know you always guide me through it. You get me out of whatever it is I'm going through, and you put me on that right path, that right direction. And uh, you... you Get me straight and narrow on that straight and narrow road, God. So I thank you in, again in your son's precious name and the blood that he spilled for us as he took those stripes for us. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Well, let's get the church on their on their feet because uh well we don't want nobody sleeping this late well i, I don't know i guess it is pretty late but let's get them on their feet you know, late night church. that's right we're here live and uh let me get the other monitor there it is. All right, just wanted to make sure we were good to go. We're live on the Spreaker channel, iHeartRadio Live. Uh, we're we're all all over the board here tonight. And I, like I said, I I was gonna go on Anchor, but I'm gonna have to switch this up and just go to the Castbox Live. Uh, just because, like I always tell you, we only get an hour on. On the Anchor Channel. That's great. But it's not enough time. I, you know, as I always tell you, friends. I have been told before. This is what sparked this, uh, you know, this thing about podcasting. They kept telling me, you talk too much. Well, you're right. I talk too much about God, and I'm okay with that. Right? <laughs> so, hey, I don't. I don't mind talking about God, right? Because, hey, we've been called into it. And, uh, as they say, God is good. And all the time, God is, or all, all the time, God is good and good. All the time, God is good, something like that. Anyway, you guys know what it is. Mercy, I got to look at that down. Look at that and write that down. I think it says, all the time, God is good and, or good, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Amen. There's the bell. Where's my, where is where's where's my my friends here? <laughs> there it is. Thank you uh, for remembering to get that. 
the way I love that. I got a I got a podcast picture that I'm going to put up for that. Well, let's get into the podcast tonight, Thursday. Uh, don't forget, I'm hoping to uh, get finally on the YouTube live channel uh, with these pesky flies. Uh, we bind them. Uh, put some oil, holy oil, all over the studio and uh, did a little bug bombing. And, uh, well, they got to get to stepping. They got to get to going because uh, I've got no time to mess with that. So let's get into it. I've got the armor of God. Again, friends, I appreciate you guys so much. High fives, big hugs. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight and every night. I like I said, I do appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome, and I, I, I you know, we got some blood washed believers in the house wanting to hear that good news gospel. So, well, Pastor, what are you doing? Are you going to talk or are you going to share that good news gospel? Well, there you go, precious friends. Don't forget, I got the shout out list because I always want to acknowledge our our pastors uh, out there shepherding the flocks and um, of course the armor of God I'll jump into that in a little bit but we are going to hit Deuteronomy chapter 6 my friends so let's get into the Lord's Prayer like I promised every day every podcast I'm going to open up uh, with the uh, Lord's Prayer here so let's get into it shall we our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Go ahead, you can, don't be shy, friends. Step up, you can say this along with me. I think you know this one. If you don't, uh, you can pause it and rewind it and, and get it. So anyway, I like to say this because, you know, um, we do. We do need to say this. I, I'm, I'm like stepping up and doing some changes on the podcast. Uh, I want to make this... I want to do God proud, right? Amen. All right. Now give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. A little bit more for it. Uh, thank you for my blessings. I know you, Jesus, Son of God, died on the cross for me so I can be forgiven for my sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for my sins and fall on me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, please show me my purpose in life and how I can better serve you. Thy will be done, not my will. I pray this prayer, Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. Well, there you go. I'm going to do it, friends, every day. I'm going to get that on there every day. All right, what do we got going on? So you guys can find... The Spreaker channel now on all your app devices, all your app stores across the board uh, at uh, SpreakerRadio.com or Spreaker Radio app. I guess that's what it's called. I got it on my cell phone. It's nice. I can listen to, uh, you know, I can listen to my podcast, listen to other fellow uh, believers' messages. Uh, but uh, it's there, it's available, and uh, coming up very soon, friends, here in the next few months, uh, we're at upgrading, and we are going to have, this ministry will have its very own uh, podcast app. Uh, I sent the information out and sent the URLs with that. Uh, and it's going to be available in all the Google Store apps and the Apple apps. Very exciting. I am very, we're actually going to have our own app available around the world on all devices. How cool is that? So, staying on the path, my friends. All right, let's do something. Well, yeah, let's, we'll, 
<laughs> Let's go into the armor of God. So I will keep posting updates on the Twitter channel, uh, my Twitter, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, where we at YouTube. Uh, of course, you know, right here at Spreaker, uh, Blog Talk Radio, and of course, CastBox, Podbean, and so many more. Amen. God is good. All right, friends. Well, I hope you're ready for a Bible study because I got something, something for you, as I usually do. Well, let's turn to our Bibles here at Ephesians 6.10 through 20, and let's armor up. Let's put on our armor. Right? <laughs> Amen. Finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, friends, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, not a part, not a piece, not a latchet, and not a shoelace, because that just won't cut it. You got to have the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand. You mean there's more, Pastor? What? There's more that we got to do? That's right, friends. You do. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, uh, taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked as we segue right into First Peter 5, 8, and 9 for your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Well, put your armor on, friends. Amen. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God. It is our Bible, of course. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly uh, to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, and that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Romans 10, 9, 21. You know that one because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God, right? Well, there you go. All right. Let's see here. And sorry about that wrestling. I was listening to the playback and I did not realize how sensitive uh, the... Uh, microphones actually are uh, just amazing. They are that sensitive, and uh, so yeah, I I was like, wow, I was blown away. I was listening, and I was like, oh, sorry, friends, sorry, I didn't know how sensitive these this uh, these mics were actually actually were. All right, well, before we even get into our message here. Uh, I want to give you, uh, as I was praying over it, uh, I got a few scriptures I'm going to give you, but I was praying over this, like, hey, you know, Spirit, throw this at me. Lay it on me, my brother. Show me what I need to uh, share with the saints. Uh, so, guess what, friends? Chapter 6. Deuteronomy, chapter 6. Now, these are the commandments the statutes hang on here I knew as soon as I got into this I, I did not get these notes uh, completely finished out here uh, give me a quick second let me finish there it is alright let me go back over chapter 6 again stop rewind <laughs> amen now these are the statute or the commandments, the statutes and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. 
that thou mightest fear the uh, Lord thy God uh, to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee. Thou and thy son and thy son's son all the days of thy life and the, thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee in the land that floweth with milk and honey. O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Uh, where is that at? Isaiah 42, verse 8. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. If you're wondering where that scripture is at, friends, it's right there. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. For your notes. All right. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. Deuteronomy 11.18, Proverbs 3.3. 3. Well, there you go. Uh, let's see. Should I read? Should I go through the rest of that? That's quite long. About 25. Yeah, let's do that, friends. Why don't we stick with Deuteronomy right now? We'll go ahead and uh, cruise right through it here. I love the book of Deuteronomy. All right, let me get caught up on a couple of things. Uh, feel free to move about your your spot, wherever you happen to be at, friends. I hope you're in a, a good, comfortable uh, place here, and I hope things are going well for you. You know, we, uh, we've got a 24-hour prayer chain, prayer line open uh, any time, and uh, we'd, we'd love to have you pray uh, or send us your request. You know, you can get a hold of me at MyCBN, of course, and uh, all over. All over the board. So, you know, uh, feel free to send that uh, prayer request in, whatever's troubling you, whatever you're going through uh, in your situation, your, you know, what, whatever it happens to be, we'd love to pray for you, friends. All right? All right. So let's go ahead and continue. And I like Deuteronomy here. It's a good book. Probably go back eventually and go back and do another uh, podcast here on, on Deuteronomy. I did one before a while back, but, you know, the Lord just takes me where he wants me to go with this. And uh, I never know. I get shifts all the time. All right, let's continue in chapter 7, or verse 7 here. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt not... Uh, Oh, hang on here, friends. Sleeping monitors. Uh, amen. All right, we're good. Where did I go? What happened? All right. <laughs> and shalt uh, talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. Deuteronomy 4, 9. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of the house and of the gates, or on the gates, Deuteronomy 11.20. And it shall be, when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he sware unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and godly cities, or goodly cities, which thou builtest not. And houses full of all good things, which thou fill, uh, fillest, what? fillest not in wells that dig. I'm um, reading out of the King James, so <laughs> uh, thank you guys for being so patient with it. Uh, I'm getting through it. All right, I love this uh this King James Version is such an awesome, surprising gift. Uh, how awesome is that? All right. 
Now, the vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not, when thou shalt have eaten and be full, Deuteronomy 8.10, then beware lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, and from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shalt swear by his name. All right. Give me a second here, friend. Let me get caught up again. All right. So let me go back over verse 13 again. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him, and uh, shalt swear by his name. Ye shall not go after other gods uh, of the gods of the people which are round about you. In verse 15, For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be kindled against thee and destroy thee from off the face of the earth. Exodus 20, verse 5. Ye shall not tempt the Lord your God as ye tempted him in Massah, or Massah, Exodus 17, 2. Ye shall diligently keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his testimonies and his statutes, which he hath commanded thee. And thou shalt do that which is right and good in the sight of the Lord. Uh, that it may be well with thee, all's well with my soul. Amen. Uh, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest go in and possess the good land which the Lord uh, swear unto the fa or thy fathers. Exodus fifteen twenty six, and I'm going to go into Exodus. Uh, again, here in the next uh, in near future, uh, again uh, for uh, the podcast messages. Uh, so there you go. Stand by. Hold on. I'm excited about that. Although Exodus, the book of Exodus is not. Uh, there's some things going on, my brothers and sisters. Uh, so we're going to get back into the history of the Old Testament, the 17 books. Uh, that's going to come up on the next few podcasts here in the, in the near future. And I'll let you know. Alright, 19. To cast out all thine enemies from before thee uh, as the, the Lord hath spoken. Numbers 33 and 52 for your side scriptures. Amen. All right, trying to catch up on a couple places here. Stand by, hold on, and hold that thought. All right, uh, so... All right, 19, to cast out all thine enemies from before again here, as the Lord has spoken. Numbers 33, 52. And when thy son asketh thee in time to come saying, What mean the testimonies, and the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord our God hath commanded you? Exodus thirteen, fourteen. Then thou shalt say unto thy son, We were Pharaoh's bondmen in Egypt, and the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand. And the Lord shewed signs and wonders, great and sore, upon Egypt, upon Pharaoh, and upon all his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence, that he might bring us in. Hang on. Uh, 
in to give us the land which he sware unto our fathers. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes, to fear our Lord, our God, or fear the Lord our God, for our good always, that he might preserve us alive, as is, or as it is, at this day. Deuteronomy 4, one and Psalm 41.2 And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he hath commanded us. Alright. So there's a reason I went there and I, I, hey, I just don't question the, the spirit anymore. He throws the stuff at me and says, here's where you need to go. So there you go, my friends. Alright, what are we looking at here? Uh... All right, let's take a look real quick at Matthew eleven twenty-eight. All right. And Matthew eleven twenty-eight thirty, friends. So let me know when you get there. Give me a a big amen and a and a, a quick shout out there. So there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and go, uh, well, we got Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28, and 30, right? Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. Jeremiah 6, 16. <laughs> For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. 1 John 5, 3. There you go. If you're stressing, what are you stressing for? We are too blessed to be stressed, right? Well, there you go. So quit stressing. Give it all over to God, friends. We are not equipped to handle these situations. Uh, I know it's not easy. It's retraining and renewing your minds. Uh, and, uh, hey, I'm right there, friends. I'm right there with you. I have uh, struggled myself uh, <laughs> more than a few times. But, you know, like I always tell you, it doesn't, no, it doesn't make it easier to go through your situations and not uh, what's the word? Come on, spirit! I know you're laying this on me here. I know you. We want me to give it out for some reason. Um, you know, it, it doesn't make the situation any easier, but he does equip us to handle it. You know, because if we know who's on the inside, family, if we know who's on the inside. What are, we, what are we worried about, right? If God is for us, then who can be against us? And again, that would be getting into your five senses, into your flesh. We gotta, we, we gotta keep it spiritual, my friends, uh, and uh, keep turning it over God. Whatever, whatever your situation is, whatever is you're going through, I, I, friends, I'm telling you, you can get through it. And I got a, a scripture again. For that, I want to recap that in the NLT Living Water for those who thirst, uh, surviving through trials. Oh, I'm telling you, friends, I'm going to lay it on thick tonight. <laughs> or this morning, we're in that Friday morning, a little after midnight, here on the Pacific Coast, or not Pacific Coast, but Pacific Standard Time, right? All right, let's take a quick look. Oh, where are we at? James. Friends, can you get there? Let's go to James 1 uh, through 17. Uh, da, 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 where's the music? Well, I guess we're just going to keep going through it here. Friends. All right, James uh, 4, 1 through 17. And that, <laughs> well, that's cool. I, 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 I don't mind. Well, I told you we're having a Bible study, uh, friends. If you have any doubts, well, 
This is the Bible Study Channel. I don't know. I, I'm thinking of changing the title over a little bit here. Uh, I've had a lot of requests, a lot of people asking about that. Why don't you change it to the Bible, Bible? What is it? Bible Study Hour? Well, it's already called the Late Night Bible Study Podcast, right? Because that's what I do here. That's what I, I know how to do, and that's what I like to share uh, the scriptures with you guys. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Amen. Well, all right, chapter 4, the book of James. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence, even of your lusts that war in your members, brawlings? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain, and ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because ye ask amiss, that ye may consume it with upon your lusts. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? Be he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resist, uh, resisteth the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Job twenty two twenty nine and Proverbs three thirty four. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, my friends, and he will flee from you. Uh, Ephesians 4.27 uh, Yeah, so there you go. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Now, you're going to ask yourself again, well, Pastor, why would the devil flee from me what why what's what 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 you know well i'm gonna tell you friends uh because he's afraid of the greater one that's in us we got to remember that we got to remember that jesus died on the cross for us and uh you know we just sometimes we get lost we forget that we forget about it and uh well that's why we got to keep moving forward we have a greater uh, what's the word spirit oh my gosh um <laughs> we have a greater our calling is greater i mean i'm not kidding we you know we've got to we got to look at that eternal promise that god has promised us my friends and that's what keeps us going that's what keeps us motivated uh you know cuz we have hope you know uh he gives us that eternal uh peace, right? That eternal peace, that joy, that internal joy and peace. Uh, so, <laughs> again, uh, that's why I get, you know, I, I am so blessed to have an opportunity uh, to share the word uh, here. Uh, and that's what the, the motivation was, to keep doing this. You know, you might, No matter what the rejection, no matter what the world thinks about it, uh, it's what God, you know, matters what God thinks. And uh, I know this sometimes don't make a lot of sense, but you know what? This is what this is me giving back to what God has provided me. And like I said, I hope it. I hope it helps. I hope the scriptures. Uh, you know, I hope you're taking notes, and I hope you get a chance to just meditate and be in your Word. Uh, you know, so I know. Quit talking and read the Bible. <laughs> I know. I just get I get so giddy <laughs> with this podcast, uh, friends. I'm glad glad to bring it to you. Well, let's go back into the where where are we at? I'm gonna go back over seven again. Verse seven, chapter four, the book of James. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Ephesians four twenty seven. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, uh, and purify your hearts, 
ye double-minded, be afflicted, and more. Now, hang on. I lost the channel here. All right. Uh, where did I go? And weep, let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Verse 10, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. All right. Did you hear that, friends? Did you hear that message? Did you hear what the Spirit is saying unto the church here? Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Amen. Speak not evil of one another, brethren. Uh, he that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. Now, I got three side scriptures here, friends, for you. Matthew 7, 1, Romans 2, 1, and 1 Peter 2, 1. Amen. All right. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou the judgest and other? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go uh, unto such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Uh, whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then vanish away, Job 7.7. 7. For that we ought to say, If the Lord will, we shall live, and do this or that, Acts 18.21. But now ye rejoice in your boastings, all such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to do, or therefore to him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him is it is a sin. And that's in Luke twelve forty seven. Wow, that covers a lot, friends. Uh, amazing, as always. But... Uh, great. I am glad. You know, like I said, I never know what the Spirit's going to throw at me. All right. So we better, real quick here, friends, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the shout-out list. Uh, acknowledge my friends out there that have been supportive and uh, on, the, uh, you know, there for uh, the, you know, the for the podcast and for the messages here. Uh, and if you guys would like to get on that list, well, don't be shy. Step on up. God, don't give us the spirit of fear, friends. Uh, let's go into the shout-out list here for our pastors and shepherds, of course. Now, I always, you know, like I said, friends, we always, I've got this prayer chain going on uh, now. So it's the first one. I mean, there's just so many. It's just amazing. All of these mass shootings going across the country. Uh, my gosh, uh, it just blows me away. Uh, so let's go ahead, friends, if you will, take a couple of minutes out of your busy day and your time and just uh, pray for the families, everybody that's uh, infected or infected, in, affected, not infected, affected. Uh, <laughs> Mercy, I know it's late night, uh, a little after midnight here, uh, Pacific Stan or Pacific Mountain Time, but yeah, so uh, it's late, <laughs> friends. It is late here, uh, but the you know the the shootings, man, shooting just blows me away. I'm just amazed. I'm like, holy cow, uh, another one. Uh, it the you know so we're praying, friends. We got our our prayer chain going on. Uh, Gilroy, California, uh, the few in Texas, El Paso, Midland, Odessa, uh, at Dayton, Ohio, of course, and then there were several after that. Uh, it's just nonstop, but uh, we got to be in the Word, friends. We got to keep trusting, keep having faith, keep believing in God. Uh, you know, uh, 
man oh man uh, so yeah keep keep them in prayers friends if you can all right well we got some uh shepherds on our list here some pastors and i, I brought one on board here with us uh, Pastor David Lynn at Christ Forgiveness Ministries Online, YouTube, Facebook, spreading that word, sharing that message. Uh, go ahead and check it out, friends, in uh, Toronto, Canada. Amen. All right, well, we've got Pastor Michael Holcomb, Bible Days Ministries, iHeartRadio, and so much more. Uh, go check it out. I've been listening to him for a number of years now and blown away by every message. So uh, check it out if you can. Pastor Rodney Francis Ministries online, of course, in New Zealand, and praying for them as well. Uh, repentance, a message for the church, which I'm going to be bringing out here. Uh, in between all this other stuff, I'm going to kind of jam pack it, maybe two hour podcast. Uh, we'll see uh, how time uh, permits and stuff, but I'm, I'm planning on bringing that message back out. So check it out. Pastor J. David Ford and his wife Rose, my CBN, iTunes, Spotify, and a plethora more, uh, much more channels and mess, you know, places, uh, internet, radio out there, my friends. KY ninety five point five FM, Power Radio, and it's Texas. Can you believe that we're in Texas? That is awesome. Of course, all the way out in Japan on my CBN, Pastor Oni. Uh, konnichiwa, domo, arigato, my friends. Amen. Thank you for the message. Now, again, sorry about the rustling of the paper. I, like I said, I listened to playback last night and uh, yesterday, and I did not re realize exactly uh, how uh, how uh, sensitive the mics were. Uh, <laughs> so, but you know, that's a that's a good thing. Like I said, it's uh, very crisp. And, of course, with that bass in it. So, uh, we want that. We want to, uh, you know, continue. We strive. Like I said, we uh, continuing it, striving to, uh, you know, to continue to, to keep upgrading this, this podcast, this the equipment and the gear. Amen. All right, Spreaker right here at Spreaker.com. Radio Piacenza and Radio Sound 83 all the way out in Romana, Italy. And, of course, our newest friend, N3 Radio in Steubenville, Ohio. That is amazing. Amen. I never thought I'd be in Ohio. But that's that's awesome. Uh, anywhere we can get this message out, you know. He said, he did say, he did tell us, and command us to go preach to all nations. And that's, well, that's what we're doing here. All right. Well, I've still got a bit of a cold, so if I sneeze, uh, friends, because the temperature is dropping down a little bit out here. It's uh, getting into the mid-40s at night, and so I got that, uh, got the fireplace all set up and cleaned out, ready to go. Keep going. Amen. All right, I think I need some more coffee. You've been late night radio. I feel like I'm doing like a like a uh, all night radio thing or all night radio broadcast or something. Well, it is God's radio, right? And I'm just the DJ uh, getting this message out, right? Or I don't know. Somebody called me a talk show host or something. I I don't know. I'm just doing what God told me to do, preaching this message and reading the scriptures uh hey man well listen i got some good friends on here i want to mention out of course brother mark at facebook page uh the christian watchers of the 2017 2024 solar eclipses group please go check it out uh and be nice uh, hey amen uh, go tell Brother Mark you heard it on the Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast with Pastor Rick Rowley here live. All right, of course, my good friend, Miss Jackie, over at Twitter, Periscope, Facebook Live, Monday through Sunday, blasting the devil, my friends. Check it out. Doing that midnight scope. Uh, I believe it's like 10 o'clock. Uh, it's in Ohio, uh, based out of Ohio. So, uh 
Check it out on Twitter and Periscope and, of course, again, Facebook page. All right, Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries over at YouTube, Facebook Live, and more. Uh, boy, what a spitfire for God. She is on fire, my friends. Go check it out. Hey, we got uh, another sister in Christ here, uh, Miss Jada Franson online. All right. I think I misspelled her, her name here, so let me correct that. Uh, I want to make sure I get the right information out. Uh, so, there you go, friends. Oh, uh, mercy. Yeah, I, I misspelled her name, so let me correct this here. It's uh, jadafranzenonline.com. Uh, we got, of course, you know, I always want to acknowledge my uh, visitors, family and friends on all the podcast networks, channels, live all over the world. Uh, you guys are amazing. I see the numbers climbing every single day. It's in the hundreds of thousands combined. And that is a blessing. And that's why I want to step these podcasts up. I want to keep continuing to get these messages out uh, as often as I can. Uh, again, with the issues of the Wi-Fi and weather, uh, that would be the only only couple of things that really would hinder these podcasts. Um, I have set all the podcast channels up that I normally go online uh, with the PC or something. I have all of them set up on my phone. Uh, so, if anything, you know... I can always go uh, and podcast off my cell phone. But we've got the laptop set up. Uh, we are, our, our monitors broke. And uh, they just stopped working. So I'm going to be upgrading that next month. And, uh, of course, uh, no, I may jump on right here at Spreaker. I may jump up to the next level because I got a great offer. Uh to do a 24-7 live broadcasting. Uh, they have an option in there where we can actually uh, upgrade and, you know, podcast 24-7 live if we wanted to, and not just at a certain peak hour or a certain hour. So right now, Blog Talk Radio, uh, I'm trying to get on between 4 and 7.30. That is their peak time listening and hours. Uh, I mean, you can do it any time in the hours, but I'm trying to, uh, you know, step that up and and uh, be on there between 4 and 7.30 Pacific Mountain Time. And, you know, so I'm on there live. And, of course, with YouTube upgrading their channel, uh, that is, of course, the video uh, part of the podcast. And same with Twitter and Periscope. Uh, and you stream TV, too. So I, I'm in the process of upgrading quite a bit here. And uh, again, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. All right. Well, we got my sisters in Christ on all the social media channels, plus local uh, sisters, um, which is really amazing, really awesome to have them on board. Uh, well, we got over at my CBN, my friend in Switzerland, Miss Sophie, you hear me talking about her a lot. Uh, we've been, uh, I've been ministering to her uh, and uh, you know counseling kind of uh, for a number of years here, and uh, such a blessing, such a blessing to do God's work. And of course, Miss Kitty, uh, right there at my CBN, uh, Miss Addie and Tisha over at uh, Twitter which I forgot to write down. So those are my friends uh, there. Uh, amen. And uh, our newest follower friend over there, Miss Jemena Arroyo. Uh, you can catch her at not only Twitter, but iTunes and Spotify. Now, I don't normally uh, plug artists, musicians, unless it's like spiritual, but oh, I was blown away when I heard the songs. Um, friends, go check it out if you can. Uh, just amazing. Of course, uh, at, uh, where's she at now? Twitter and Periscope. Uh, you hear me talk about her too, uh, Midori over in Japan. 
and that just blows me away. Uh, just amazing that I've got uh, I'm reaching that many people on different con continents, countries, cities, places. That's just amazing. Now, some sort of local and uh, not so local, but over here at Facebook, uh, we've got my friend Christina, always a great supporter of the ministry, uh, always putting that word out, and that's awesome. Uh, Miss Suzanne, uh, Nancy, Laura, and Carl for the use of the laptop. There we go. It's three pages long. I, I'm getting a, a lot of friends, and I, I do appreciate you guys. All right, so uh, real quick here, I think what I want to do, uh, I'll go ahead and just, maybe we won't finish out all of Zechariah, but that's okay, friends. I'll just continue it on the next podcast, and I don't mind if you don't mind, right? That's what we're doing here. We're doing a Bible study, and uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind reading through this. So let's go ahead before I, because I do want to, uh, really close out with that uh, NLT Living Water. Uh, I really want to do get into that real quick here. Uh, trials are survivable, my precious friends. So I, I'll be getting into that here in just a little bit. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this here, friends. Chapter 10 in the book of Zechariah. Ask ye of the Lord... Oops, what did I do here? Hang on, I missed something. <laughs> All right, I hope you're not falling asleep. I hope you're not getting bored. Because you can't be bored in the Word, right? All right. Let me fix this a uh, couple of spots here. Amen. Ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain, so the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one grass in the field. For the idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners uh, have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Hang on, I gotta maneuver my microphone again. Uh, it's good. All right. Now let's go back up to two. For idols have spoken vanity, and the diviners have seen a lie, and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore they went their way as a flock. They were troubled, because there was no shepherd. Mine anger was kindled against the shepherds, and I punished the goats. Man. The Lord of hosts hath visited his flock, the house of Judah, and hath made them as his goodly horse in the battle. Song of Solomon's one nine and Luke one six eight or one uh, one sixty eight there. Out of him came forth, came forth the corner, out of him the nail, out of him the battle bow, and out of him every oppressor together. Now I did this before, friends, but I wanted to recap this message again. These last couple of books here, Zechariah, uh, again, uh, where are we at here? Zechariah and Malachi, in case you missed the last few podcasts. Now I've gone through all 12 books, so I'm just going to continue to close out with these last two books, and then uh, we'll move on to the uh, the next message, right? All right, ja uh, verse 5 here. We're talking about Israel's blessings and the redemption. And they shall be as mighty men, which tread down their enemies in the mire of the streets in the battle, and they shall fight because the Lord is with them, and the riders on their horses shall be confounded. And I will strengthen the house of Judah, and I will save the house of Joseph. And I will bring them again to place them, for I have mercy upon them, and they shall be as though I had not cast them off. 
For I am the Lord their God, and will hear them. And they of Ephraim shall be like a mighty man, and their heart shall rejoice as though wine, yea, their children shall see it and be glad. Their heart shall rejoice in the Lord. I will hiss for them and gather them, for I have redeemed them, and they shall increase as they have increased. And I will sow them among the people, and they shall remember me in far countries, and they shall live with their children and turn again. I will bring them again also out of the land of Egypt and gather them out of Assyria, and I will bring them into the land of Gilead and Lebanon, and place shall not be found for them. Uh, Isaiah 11.11 11 and Hosea 11.11 11. A, double, uh, a double scripture of chapter 11 verse 11 in Isaiah and Hosea. And he shall pass through the sea with affliction and shall smite the waves in the sea and all the deeps of the river shall dry up. And the pride of Assyria shall be brought down and the scepter of Egypt shall depart away. Isaiah 11 verse 15 here. Alright. Still in the process of uh, redoing all my notes here. Alright. Uh, 12, right? We're in verse 12 here. And I will strengthen them in the Lord, and they shall walk uh, walk up and down in his name, saith the Lord. All right, chapter 11. Open the doors, O Lebanon, that the fire may devour the cedars. Zechariah 10.10 10. Howl, fir tree, for the cedar is fallen, because the mighty are spoiled. Howl, O ye oaks of Bashan, for the forest of the vintage is come down, or defensed forest. All right. There is a voice of the howling of the shepherds, for their glory is spoiled, the voice of the roaring of young lions. For the pride of Jordan is spoiled. Thus saith the Lord my God, Feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. And they shall sell them, or they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich. And their own shepherds pity them not. Deuteronomy 29.19 for I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But uh, two, I will deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hand and into the hand of his king. And they shall smite the land and out of their hand I will not deliver them. Got messages coming across the boards here. Uh, amen. From uh, oh, some good friends. That's awesome. All right, verse seven. And I will feed the flock of the slaughter, even you. Now, did I go there, or did I miss something here? Uh, okay, I got to go back over six again. For I will no more pity the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. But two, I will deliver the men, every one, into his neighbor's hands, and into the hand of his king, and they shall smite the land, and out of their hand I will not deliver them. And I will feed the flock of slaughter, even you, O Lord of the flock. And I took unto me two staves, the one I called beauty, and the other I called bands, and I fed the flock. 
Uh, three shepherds also I cut off in one month, and my soul loth them, and their soul also adored me. Then said I, I will not feed you that uh, that that dieth, let it die, and that it is to be cut off. Let it be cut off, and let the rest eat every one of the flesh of another. Uh, Jeremiah 15.2 and I took my staff, even beauty, and cut us asunder, that I might break my covenant, which I had made with all the people. And it was broken in that day. And so the poor of the flock that waited upon me knew that it was the word of the Lord. And I said unto them, if ye think good, give me my price, and if not, forbear. So they weighed for my price thirty pieces of silver. And the Lord said unto me, Cast it unto the potter, a goodly price. And I was praised, uh, or prized at them. And I took the thirty pieces of silver and cast them to the potter in the house of the Lord. Matthew 27, 9. Then I cut asunder mine other staff, even bands, that I might break the brotherhood between Judah and Israel. And the Lord said unto me, Take unto thee yet the instruments of a foolish shepherd, for lo, I will raise up a shepherd, uh, a shepherd in the land, which shall not visit those that be cut off. Neither shall seek the young one, nor heal that that is broken, nor feed that that standeth still, but he shall eat the flesh of the fat and tear their claws in pieces. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. Now, uh, that is part of the uh, warning of the uh, repentance, a message for the church. Uh, right there, Zechariah eleven seventeen. Uh, you know, God calls us to preach this good news shepherd or good news gospel to shepherd the flock, not tear them down, not tear them apart, uh, and uh, not preach of our own selves. Uh, and that's, friends, quite frankly, why there are some gaps in the podcast. Uh, because hey, we're uh, you know we're flesh, but we're not supposed to preach out of anger, out of emotion, leaning on our own understanding. God doesn't want that, and that's why these messages are here. Uh, the fivefold ministry. Uh, over, oh, where is it at here? Uh, and I just had that too, but anyway. So there, you know, Thessalonians, I believe, and of course, where is it at? I, uh, as I was going through this in First Second Timothy, especially Second Timothy, uh, we're this is a calling, this is a privilege to, uh, you know, to preach this message and to protect the flock, not tear them down, not attack them, not use them. But there's so many pro false prophets out there. And I, you've heard me talk about that before, friends. You know, you've heard me uh, reading through the scriptures. And I talk about that fivefold ministry in Second Timothy. Uh, we we got to, you know, we are to uh, preach and to shepherd uh, the flock, guide them, protect them, watch over them, not tear them down and attack them. Uh, too many of them out there. That's why that message is so important. And I am going to get into it again. So let's we'll go ahead and read 17 again. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Uh, and that is a uh, a warning 
uh, for all the false prophets, false pastors, false teachers that are out there misleading and misguiding the flock. That's just not good. It's it's not. Uh, you know, we, we've we got to, uh, like those of us that are leading and, and pastoring, Oh, we got we're held at a higher accountability, uh, and that's no joke. So that's why we got to stay on it. We got to stay on the ball. All right. So I'm gonna close off with chapter twelve. Why not? I'll just go ahead and continue that on the uh, next upcoming uh, podcast, of course. Now I think uh, where is it at here? I think what I did was I added. Uh, I added uh, something here, and so I want to correct that. All right, so I'm going to stop right there at 12. You know, I think that I think we'll be okay because I do want to share this other message with you, uh, and uh, you know, just uh, we'll, we'll save it. We'll do the next one, right? No, no worries about that. Not, not a problem. So hold that thought, friends, because we're gonna. I'm gonna continue uh, NLT Living Water for those who thirst, uh, friends, because I know, I, I know you're thirsty. I know you want this word out. Uh, so give me just a second. Let me pull up. Uh, let me get my NLT Living Water for those who thirst. Now let's go to it, friends. Uh, I gotta get back on some of these things. We've got memory verses. We got all kinds of good scriptures and stuff. So I want to uh, close out here uh, with this message and trials. Getting through your trials and tribulations, perseverance. I'll do that next. I think. Uh, let me well, let me find it. I know where it's at. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me get to it, my friends. All right, hold that thought, friends. Don't worry, I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, what? Where did it go here? Let me get to it. There it is. I told you I'd have it. So I'm going to close out with this. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Rowley live here. Uh, Blog Talk Radio Late Night, of course. Spreaker and CastBox Live. Now, I kind of switched it up a little bit. So, the subtopic, I'm going to give you the subtopic in the scriptures. It's going to be about one through six here. I'll give you, like I said, the subtopics. And uh, the main title is going to be Have Courage in Trials. You copy this down, write it down. It's in the NLT uh, Living Water for those who thirst. Friends, let's get into the first one here. Uh, many Christians have the mistaken idea that once they make a commitment to Jesus Christ, uh, life will be smooth sailing from that day forward. This is certainly not the case, my friends. Uh it's not. Uh, while it is true that walking with Christ will help us avoid many of the problems we used to face, right? Uh, we are still going to experience what the Bible calls trials. Uh, part two here. Trials may come in the form of a crisis, a sudden illness, or the loss of a loved one, or some drastic change in your life. Now, you may go through a difficult time when you don't feel God's presence, or when church just doesn't seem as exciting as it did before. Now, uh, or your prayers, friends, uh, seem to go no higher than the ceiling. Now, watch this. But God does not allow us to experience trials because he wants to see us suffer. No, my friends. He does not. Uh, rather, he allows... Now watch this, and I hope you listen and take notes. He allows these difficulties into our lives to help us grow 
spiritually. He tests the intent of our heart. Oh, that's that's powerful, right? That is powerful. Uh, all right. Now, to learn to live by faith, not by feelings. Walk by faith, not by sight. Too many of us are out there walking by sight, not by faith. Can't do this. This is the difference. It takes training. It's not easy. But this is why. He does not want to see us suffer. But he allows these difficulties into our lives uh, to help us grow spiritually. Get closer to Yahweh. Jehovah Jireh, Yeshua. Now, to learn to live by faith and not by feelings. Now, take a look at these following passages here, scriptures, uh, to see the role that trials play in our lives. And notice, precious family, uh, that also God's promise to be with us during these times of trials. Now I'll give you the, uh, it's going to be one through six, I'll give you the subtopic and the scriptures that you can meditate, pray on. Now, number one, trials sharpen our faith. Hardships develop our character and purify our faith. Take a look at 1 Peter 1, 3 through 7. Number two, uh, again with the subtopics and the scriptures. For your homework, and I told you, I, I've given out lots of homework. I hope you guys are watching. Now, trials help us comfort others. This is number two here. Uh, experiencing suffering deepens our compassion for others who suffer. Uh, 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 7. Number three, my friends, the key here. Trials are survivable. Now we must keep our eternal perspective through the tough times. Second Corinthians four, seven, and eighteen, or through eighteen. Uh because it's temporal, friends. It is temporary. You gotta remember that. Alright. Number four. Trials test our foundation. When we ground our lives in Christ. We can weather any storm. Luke six forty seven through forty nine. Now Jesus number five, Jesus is with us. Oh my brothers and sisters, come on now. Jesus is with us in life's storms. We are never outside of God's watchful eye and his abiding presence. Uh, take a look at Mark four thirty five through forty one. Number six, God gives hope to our troubled hearts. We can have a peace of mind uh, in the middle of our greatest trials and take a look at John 14, 1, 7. He gives us peace and uh, rest, right? So there you go. Just a little something, something for you, my friends. I told you. Oh, I got them. All right. 90 seconds already. Wow, it's going by quick. Our precious friend is coming back, giving us timing here on Block Talk Radio. So, if you have the apps, uh, like I said, if you got the apps, we go on over there and take a listen to our the podcast here. Now, don't forget, we got a hotline coming in. we got a guest call in, my friends. Uh, 619-924-9866, but don't call it, because I still, I'm still struggling with it. I'm still trying to figure out how to go back and forth with it. And, uh, so that's why I jumped over here to the CastBox Live. Uh, I've got a few friends online right now, and, uh, just kind of hanging out, listening. So there you go. If you get a chance, there's your homework. Uh, you got about... A dozen scriptures here. Uh, right. So there you go, friends. I, I, you know, like I said, I'm always humbled and and uh, just honored to keep bringing these messages. So, 
Stay tuned. Later today, Friday podcast going on about 4, 4.30 here. Uh, I'm going to try to get on time. You know how that happens and what goes on with that. Uh, chapter 12, 13, and 14 in the book of Zechariah out of the King James. And I might read one passage out of uh, out of the uh, uh, the Torah. I haven't been in there for a while because it was just a little difficult for me to get. And uh, I want to, you know, I want to spend some time studying that, uh, of course, and uh, meditating on that word. So, all right. Well, that's it, my friends. I appreciate you guys. Let's get that church up here. Uh, let's get them on their feet. Amen. All right. All right. There they go. There they are. Well, there you go, friends. Thursday late night going into Friday morning worldwide live ministry podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live on the air, blasting the devil, staying on top of it. Oh, I told you, I'm not letting the devil even get a chance to get some more coffee. Forget about it. Throw him out. He's done. Oh, yeah, where's that creepy guy sound? I, I got a, This is the devil sound, friends. That's right. I gave him a sound. <laughs> I gave him a sound bite. All right, friends. Well, that's it. Uh, let's see. We can my notes here. That's it. Uh, Castbox. I'll see you soon. Uh, stand by, and uh, well, I'll see you later, friends. Have a good day. Good night. Good morning. Wherever you happen to be. Friday podcast. Four o'clock. Four thirty. Four four thirty. Uh, Block Talk Radio in uh, Spreaker. Well, I'll probably jump back on Spreaker later on about 7.30. Uh, we get some of these flies out of here. I might be able to go back on YouTube Live. Stand by, friends. I'll be blasting again soon. Amen. Have a good night. All right. Well, there we go. We got the uh, channel set up. Uh, Blog Talk Radio. You guys have a great morning, great night, and you too, Anchor. Dot com. I'll see you again this afternoon, Friday, for Friday Live podcast message. Amen. Have a good night. Have a good morning. And happy Friday, friends. Stay in the Word, and I got more for you. All right.